Now, a Studio 78 world premiere. Hey guys, Tom from Optima here, and today I'm going to show you how to take the images from two Optima projectors and blend them into one seamless image. I know it sounds completely nuts, but we can totally do it using the Optima GB200 Plus blending and warping processor. We have a pretty long gear list for this one, so let's grab it all and get blended. Today we're going to be using two computers, one for control and one for source, our Optima GB200 Plus processor, two Optima EH515 projectors, an Ethernet hub, and an HDMI splitter. For auto blending, we're also going to need a Logitech C920 webcam and a tripod. To connect all that stuff, we're going to need five HDMI cables, three LAN cables, and the appropriate power cords for all of their respective gear. Awesome! Now we have a lot to connect, so let's start with the source signal flow, and then we'll get into the control. Starting with the source computer, connect HDMI to the computer's output. Connect power and the other end of your HDMI cable to the HDMI splitter. Next, connect another HDMI cable from the output 1 of the HDMI splitter to the channel 1 input of the GB200+. And, likewise, from the output 2 of the splitter, to the channel 2 input of the GB200 Plus. Then connect HDMI from the channel 1 output of the GB200 Plus to the input of projector 1, and from the channel 2 output to the input of projector 2. Okay, that takes care of the source signal flow, now let's move on to the control. Connect the first LAN cable from the RJ45 connector on your control computer to your Ethernet hub. Connect the second and third LAN cables to the hub, and then to the channel 1 and channel 2 RJ45 connectors on the GB200 Plus. While we're here, let's set our IP addresses for channels 1 and 2 of the GB200+, Plus. and lastly, let's connect our webcam. Whew, alright, now that is what I call a lot of connectivity. Deep breath. Now let's open our Auto Warp software. Upon opening the software for the first time, you're going to be prompted to enter a license key. I've already done it for this particular GB200+, Plus, so I'll show you how to add a new license key. It's pretty much the same thing. Click on the Auto Warp icon at the top left of the window to reveal the drop down menu and select About Auto Warp License Key. Click the Load button to browse for and select your license key file and select Open. Mine says that the file already exists because it does. Yours should go straight to the next part. Click on the Generate tab, change the number field from 1 to 2 because we're setting up both channels for our GB200+, Plus, and click Generate. This will activate the two channels and your two IP addresses should turn green. From here you can save or just close the window to proceed. So to start a new activity, click Add and select the solution that you want to do. As you can see, your options are Stacking, Blending, or Stacking and Blending. Today we're just doing Blending, so select Blending. Make sure that you have the correct input port selected and click Next. Select the appropriate resolution mode for your projectors. Ours is 1080p at 60Hz. Click Next and the IP addresses will change from red to green. The next page sets our overlap. Generally you want to keep the overlap at about 25%. My setup here is a little closer to 30, so that's what I'm going to select. We're not doing any vertical blending today, so that will stay at zero. The preview button allows us to see our overlap in the projected image. Click OK. Now we're connecting to the GB200+. Plus. Once connected, each of our channels will show green check marks. Next, we need to connect to our camera. Click the camera button, select your camera in the list, and click connect. Now we see a live preview of our blend. Click the camera advanced tab and select auto tune. This will properly tune our camera to the environment. Once tuned, close the camera page. Now we're going to set our blend area boundary. Click boundary and use your mouse to drag the corners to the appropriate positions in your blend. Close the boundary window and select calibration. The GB200 Plus will now calibrate the blend and apply it. As you can see here, both of our right corners are a bit off, so we're going to go back in and adjust our boundary and run calibration again. And there's our blend. And there you have it. GB200 Plus plus Auto Warp Software equals awesome and easy edge blending. Stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to visit us at OptimaUSA.com. I'm Tom from Optima. Thanks for hanging out.